The Wicked Witch, from the anthology called The Bones of the Earth by Carol Jane Bangs. This poem is an amazing um, sort of really deep look at the archetype of the Wicked Witch that we see in so many of our stories. Yeah, and it's not only an archetype, but on the level that um, Bangs is speaking of it here, it becomes somewhat of a stereotype that we lift the veil on to understand on a much deeper level. Because she is something that, on a level, we all get to walk through or become, um, especially if we're women, at some stage of our lives. And she prefaces this poem with a quote from W.H. Auden from uh, his writing Oxford, and that little quote is this, To the wise, often, often is it denied to be beautiful or good. And here's her writing. She greets her mirror, eager as a child, eighty years pull back to the bone, the skin drawn thin as paper, over cheek and skull. Lips part over yellow teeth ground half down to the gum. Nostrils open on a black vault. Thin hair frizzles from her scarf like a halo of white frost. And the eyes peer over ravaged lids like the eyes of a newborn child who, having seen all that is, has everything to forget. Age draws her closer to the awareness that the appearance of goodness is all that we know of the good. What use has an old woman for propriety, her body having failed to give her pleasure? Beauty neither a thing of the past nor a trusted potential. She sees in the mirror no more, no less, than what has lived there forever. History treats her badly, this crone. She never had victims. They had themselves, falling under the spell of their own beauty, stumbling through their own dark forests, unprepared, no lamp in hand. The poison apple dropped from Snow White's own tree. Hansel's cage grew out of his bones. Rapunzel's tower was coiled from her plaits, and the frog prince fathered no heirs. Who's to tell what Sleeping Beauty dreamed before waking to marriage and decorum, the ennui of ever after? These crooked hands could be murderers. The thin lips could move to deceive. Lacking goodness or beauty, the old woman knows the roots of the oldest tales. For a witch knows the world the way it is, looks into the mirror long past the age when a princess would look away.